Alright guys, so a little bit of a different setup here for today. However, in this video, I want to go over something really important because it is going to be something that a lot of you guys are going to be waiting for and have been waiting for and that is going to be no other than EXP Star Jellies. So, I've talked about in a lot of videos, you know, which cookies to invest in, which cookies are going to be good, which cookies are like, you know, the better version, uh, 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 better than like Ancients and Legendaries, but you know in order to get them to where they are or where i show them uh, they are a, you need the exp storage at least to level them up and especially with the new level cap increase from level 75 all the way up to level 80 it's going to cost quite a lot of exp star jellies or exp in order to actually level them up so in this video i want to quickly go over um hopefully quickly go over all the methods that we have currently right now uh you know because we don't have the tower of sweet chaos anymore uh, that is particular. Uh, that particular game mode is gone. So that is one of the methods that you know used to be really good that has disappeared. So I want to go over all the methods, um, all the little things that you can use to level up your cookies, especially your EXP, and then also uh, you know things that you really need to kind of keep in mind and do for the long term because this game, uh, the more time and more of these uh, investments you make uh, for the long term the easier it's gonna get all right so let's quickly go over it first um let's go over the basic stuff all right and that's going to be you know your world exploration as well as you know within like kingdom arena 2 uh you can get some of the xp star jellies from like the shops um but you know uh the basic stuff are just going to be farming them right world exploration gives you some xp star jellies you know kingdom arena you can exchange for some uh, exp star jellies cookie alliance if you do them you know it gives you exp star jellies you are able to now farm exp star jellies from the uh the bounty because the bounty has changed a little bit uh so the higher level you go uh the more exp you are going to be able to get i haven't done any because i don't need them and i'm gonna you know show you which one is going to be really important in order for you to get to where i am of course spending money is going to help out speed up the process but you know even if i spent money and if i didn't invest in all the thing that i invested in then i'm gonna have to continuously spend money for exp which i don't do anymore all right uh so we do have the bounty as well as uh you know uh we have the guild boss battle which is the guild gacha essentially uh to do uh the you know guild gacha you need to do the guild bo uh, boss battle as well to get the torches which is really really easy nowadays you know if you get into an active guild you're gonna get a ton and ton of torches which you know you definitely need to uh you know try to get into uh and you know if you need use because these torches are going to give you some insane amount of like you know materials not just the exp star jellies but other things as well uh so that we have that uh, but those are going to be like, you know, the basic things, uh, including also your, you know, things like uh, the balloon expedition, as well as your, uh, you know, train and the fountain. All right. Uh, so those are the basic things that, you know, that are just there for you to take advantage of. However, there are going to be more important things uh, that are going to be more of the uh, the the heavy loaders of your XP star jelly. And the start off is going to be no other than your cookie houses. Uh, so cookie houses is, you know, they're very important. And the first thing that I recommend every player to do is build and max out your cookie houses whenever possible. The first thing you do um, after you level up your kingdom or your castle level is going to be build your uh, cookie houses and then max them out uh, using at least one of your gnome. Of course, you don't need to, you know, use all the gnomes to build cookie houses only. You can, you know, build other things like your landmarks as well as, you know, your production and stuff like that. But one gnome should always be used for the cookie houses because these EXP star jellies are going to, you know, rack up more and more. And with the buffs that we're going to talk about later on, it's going to even be further. Like, you know, you're just going to get way more uh, over time and you want to, you know, spend the time and resource and invest in those things. So number one, uh, the most important thing is going to be no other than your cookie houses. I've talked about this since like, you know, the start of this channel uh, is it's the most important thing. All right. So we have the cookie houses and then the next one that you need to invest in after when you unlock this is going to be your soda island. So your soda island is unlockable after cookie castle level five. And uh, as long as you clear up to uh, this particular area, so you need to clear out 
uh, this particular area where there's going to be trees and you know woods that are going to uh, cover up that area you need to clear it out you're gonna get a quest and you're gonna be able to go and unlock the soda island uh, and once you unlock these islands using the you know spy glasses as well as the maps you know some of these are going to give you exp star jellies as well as sometimes your crystals and you know stamina jellies and coins and right now you can see every eight hours all right i'm getting a total of about 2520 of these level one exp star jellies by me doing nothing essentially once i clear all of these things out and once in a while you just gotta go and make sure that no pirates are like invading your islands especially your exp star jelly ones because they're gonna come and steal your exp star jelly so you don't want that hat to happen so make sure to go and clear them out whenever you can uh so i am you know farming up a lot right now uh you know just sitting here and just waiting for it to happen so tropical soda island is another great you know method in order to farm up some exp star jellies and surprisingly a very important method uh or important thing that you also need to take advantage of for exp star jellies is going to come from your events um you know uh surprisingly events nowadays give you a lot of exp star jellies you can say, see right over here uh we're getting already uh you know level 6 exp star jellies here we're getting level 7 exp star jellies here uh within the the bounty mission we're getting a level 80 of the you know star jelly concentrate even from the arena tier we're getting exp star jellies here we get exp star jellies uh in the bottom ranks you know uh gift month we're getting a little bit here arena you know they're just you know constantly giving you exp star jellies here as well events it, it, the more and more you do uh the more and more you take advantage of the stuff that they're giving you is actually going to be a lot and i do recommend you to definitely take advantage of all this stuff in the events and uh you know the free things like you know your shop um it's not a lot but it still ranks up uh you know the more and more you do you, you already probably already know them if you didn't then you now know but the most important thing here is going to be the uh you know for the long term investing for the long term because these buffs that i'm going to talk about are going to just help you tremendously all right over time you can do all of these things but uh, you're not going to get very far just by doing the things I told you. Because, you know, without the buffs, it's you're just not min-maxing everything. And it's just going to take way longer for you to actually max out your cookies and level up your cookies. Uh, compared to somebody who are doing all the things that I talked about plus debuffs that we're discussing right now. And the most important thing is going to be, um, you know, two things uh, that comes into play here for us. And that's going to be the hall as well as the statue of radiance all right as well as later on the laboratory all right the laboratory and the hall uh as well as the statue are going to be the two most important thing i would say for all the players to invest in of course again if you spend money and you have time jumpers or crystals to spend on this i don't i don't know why you would spend crystals to the uh, to do this just use your time jumpers but if you spend the money then you can speed up the process but this is going to be something that most players are going to just sit and wait and um you know that everybody needs to do so let's talk about it and the reason why i emphasize these things uh, for the long run is because of the buffs that they give you especially in the cookie side uh in the beginning it's it, all the way in the beginning which is so so convenient is the tastier star jellies uh this just increases the efficiency of your star jellies which means that your one star jelly is just going to give you more exp so again compared to somebody who has not invested anything at all in the sugar known laboratory versus somebody who has even if you use the same amount you're just going to get more exp star jelly because you have buffs so that's why it's important to invest in this all right cookie side you know you can always do it it's going to make little difference um and more difference you know you continue to level up but the most important thing is going to be start uh jelly right here and then later on you just want to go into the kingdom side uh, most importantly i would say to, to start off in the kingdom side and you know just do all the basic things but really focus on the production here uh you also do have like production here you also have more production uh you know the down the line here we have coins as well which is going to be helpful and then we have uh right over here faster production again and you know we just have faster production here so all the faster productions are going to just 
definitely speed up the process of your exp snore jellies so again you have a higher level start uh you know cookie houses if you have faster production you're just gonna get more and more and more and you're just gonna be able to sit on those and wait on those and then you're just gonna rack them up and the more and more you invest and the more and more you build right later the more easier it's going to be all right um and then you know just lab is important but also the hall is very important so i know people can argue hey hyrule it's i think it's more important to unlock the space in my opinion uh the max that i would say is unlock the first row even the first row i think it's honestly going to be really uh expensive to unlock all you know how many is this uh all nine of these uh slots in my opinion um you know uh i think andy runner and other players in the korean server uh korean community just recommends like five or four uh for like these slots to use for niche cookies inside of like guild boss battle and stuff like that uh but you know some people argue that you need to unlock more to take advantage of the meta but in my opinion if you unlock more of the slots later on you're just gonna have empty slots because you know if you catch up on this and you get you know the the production speed plus 20 uh you know for the fountain you have production speed for the cookie houses plus 30 it's just gonna be higher and higher you're just gonna get more and more and then you're gonna be at a point where you don't need to level up all the cookies right because not everything is being used like you're not gonna use like chili pepper you're not using ginger brave you're not using you know some of these cookies that are not used anymore and you're just going to be sitting at you know just a lot of exp that you don't need and you're just going to be wasting your radiance that you could have used to level up the statue which not only helps in the exp star jelly farming but also you know stats uh that because you you decided to open up more slots that you're not going to use in the future that's why i even say like you know the first row is probably more than enough and then later on if you really want to like if you don't you know i have seventy six thousand now that i i have spare of because i i didn't use it um for any of the slot after maxing out my statue you know for the future in case they level up or they max out the or increase the maximum level and then you could unlock more slots if you want to later down the line all right so it's not a problem i would say it's just more important for you to take advantage of this that stuff that helps you out in the beginning first and then later on if you now. want to you can There's invest so in the other stuff it's just beneficial for you to take advantage of the things that are going to help you long run because you know it's in the end like as a new player like getting to level 80 is important and having more slots may seem like it it, hel it helps out but you're just going to constantly be on a chase if you're going to be like that but if you take it slowly and you know you're in, in a catch-up game right but if you take the time to do the little things like the technologies and level up your you know cookie houses and the statue then you're going to be at a better stance in the future like an update or two later to level up your cookies to a higher level without the help of the uh you know hall of ancient hero because you don't need to wait five days after the update after you know getting rid of a cookie you can just do it right away because you have this esp star jellies to do so so I recommend you guys to definitely take advantage of those uh those are basically the basic stuff that you know happens but again the most important are going to be your technology as well as your uh tower uh or statue level and then of course the other basic things like we have always talked about since the beginning of the game so hopefully that helps you guys out let me know down in the comments below what you guys really think about the importance of the statue level uh versus you know unlocking more slots because you know i think that's a that's something that you know a lot of people can you know kind of disagree with me when it comes to unlocking as or you know leveling up the statue level so thanks for watching guys hope you found the video helpful and i'll see you guys all on the next one